Good morning, everybody. Hope everything is great with you. Okay, today uh, we are going to discuss data models. Okay, so far we finished the three level database architecture, the external, conceptual, and internal levels. The mapping between these levels, external, conceptual, conceptual, internal, and the data or physical data independence. We uh, compare between DDL and DML. Now, today we are going to have some of these concepts related to the data model. What is the purpose of data modeling? especially conceptual modeling. Uh, what are the data models or the types of data models? And then we will go through some functions of database management system. All right, so let's go through the purpose, the main purpose of data modeling. Now, what do you know about data model? What is data model? In your point of view, anyone can tell? What is the data model? Yeah, anyone? And why we need data model? Let me just open it again. I can see that attendance is very less less than previous time okay uh, awesome yes we have okay that is correct uh, you mean depending on the levels external data model conceptual data model and internal data model yes yes correct awesome yes that is correct so we will our database management system will require three data models one for the external and the other one for the conceptual and for internal levels uh, Ali uh, analyze process of analyzing the data objects and their relationship okay that is correct Menar define how data is connected to each other yes all all these uh, information are it's correct it's correct what 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 is it so why we need to have it and what is it these are two uh, important questions first of all data model uh, like as you said it will provide some data about uh, how the database will represent this data how the data will be represented but in the real world, which will describe the organization requirements. You know that, let me just move to that slide. You know that the DDL or data definition language, we have discussed data definition language, right? We said that it's um, a sub language that is used to describe the database schema. Am I right? Data, database schema will provide some information, some data about the data, the database and uh, but it will be like it cannot be understandable by the designers when it comes to design the database system okay if the uh, the requirements of the organization is provided in ddl language only it will be very low level and will not cover all description about the database schema so the only way to provide a uh, a clear model or a clear description about the database schema will be um, presenting data in a data model all right uh, why the slide is not displayed <laughs> just an issue okay um right so we said see the ddl is used to describe or specify the database schema right and it's 
like uh, low level, very low level, and it's used to uh, describe the name of entities, attributes, and uh, relationships associated. But you see, DDL uh, cannot provide a clear um, information or clear data about the database schema because still it will not be uh, representing the real world for their organization requirements. So let's move. Okay. So what is how to resolve this by having a data model? So as we said, data definition language will provide some description about the database schema, but it's very low and cannot describe the data requirements in the organization in the real world. In, in a way that any designer, any user can understand it um, and perform some uh, operations or tasks related to this uh, data or data schema. So the data model or uh, how we can define it, we can say it's an integrated collection. See here we have just so the data model I don't, I don't know why this is hidden hidden text anyway so the data model will be an integrated collection of concepts for describing and manipulating data relationships between data and constraints of the data in an organization. So this is the, the definition of a data model. So it's collection or integrated collection of concepts that describe and manipulate data. Not only describing, describe and manipulate uh, relationships and data itself. Now, what is the main purpose? Uh, we said it's a presentation in a real world, right? And uh, any representation of any object and their associations. Okay. So there must be a base, basic concepts about the database so the database designer can clearly base on it and create the database system or a database design all right so it must be clear and accurate so the the, the the main components of a data model it consists of three main parts any data model any data model when when um, for example we want to provide a data model about the organ the organization requirements or the schema, the database schema, we need to describe the schema and provide a clear description. We can have a data model containing three main parts. Number one, structural part, which will be the construction rules of the database. Okay, so this is the structural part. Any rule involved any rule related to the database schema and description uh, for the construction or building up the database will be the structural part. Number two, manipulation part, which will define any operation related to updating, retrieving, changing the structure of the database. Okay, so changing, retrieving, which, will, which means manipulating, okay? So manipulation part and number three set of integrity constraints, which will uh, be restrictions and uh, will ensure that the data will be accurate. Okay, so these three parts of any data model will provide clear description about the organization 
database schema and uh, it must reflect the real world the organization's requirements in the real world all right so structural part manipulation part set of integrity constraints are three main parts of any data model what is the main purpose of the data model to make it to make the data in the database system understandable all right see this is the purpose to make the data understandable so it's it will be easier to design uh, the database system for example why we need a data model this is a, an early stage of designing a database which uh, will be like a source of the organization requirements that uh, the database designer will based on in designing the database system okay for example you are uh, let's see, let's assume that you are a database system designer all right and uh, you will need some information about the organization okay uh, let's assume that you have the information or requirements you set with every user and you get the requirement now you need to have a data model about this database all right so what is the data model what types can be there so you can refer to now we are going to discuss this um, in the next few slides. As uh, your class fellow said, Qasim said that there are three data models depending on the three levels architecture, right? So it's uh, just having requirements for each level. So external data model will represent the user view. The user view, like for example, uh, you in the University of Bahrain, you are a student, you have user requirements, right? You need to have, uh, for example, fields, okay? And these, these fields related to your personal information, the courses information, any data related to registration, adding and dropping courses, uh, for example, what else? timetable right transcript and so on and so on so representing the view of each user okay so it's called sometimes universe of discourse so first external data model external data model will represent users view and sometimes it's called universe of discourse okay uh, number two, we, we also the database system will require conceptual data model that represent, represent the logical view of uh, the database, which will be database management system independent. It will not be uh, based on the database management system. Okay. Internal data model will be the third one, which will represent the conceptual schema, we call it, and the database schema in the physical level. All right. So these are three data model required for the database. One model, one data model for each level that represent uh, each level view. Now, types or categories of data models. We have here three types, one, two, three, or categories. Object-based data model, record-based data model, and physical data model. This is based on the three levels, right? So we can say that object-based and record-based will describe the conceptual and external levels. Okay, these two will describe the first two levels, external and conceptual, while the physical 
you know that it's internal, right? Physical means something internal. So physical will be uh, related to the internal level, describing that internal level. Okay, now let's see object-based. What is the meaning of object-based? And what are the types there? What are the examples of object-based? And then we will discuss record-based. Then we will go through the physical data model. Let's see the object base. I'm going to share some uh, a picture. I'm going to share a picture. Just give me a second. Object based means uh, describing the database or description of data as objects, distinct objects, and their relationships, any as associated attributes, and the constraints over them. So, object means we are dealing with data as objects like for example the university of bahrain object what are the objects in the university of bahrain student right or we call them entities student entity or student object um for example buildings okay this is a place or a thing like let's say uh, colleges departments so these are like objects we are dealing with data as objects, so it's object-based. Object-based. While record, uh, it's like, and uh, you know the row of the table. Each row of the table, these are records. We can uh, deal with information or data as records. Okay, uh, let me show you. I'm gonna. This is, for example, now uh, the screen will appear. See, this one is an example of object-based. How we can say that? Because, see, we have two objects here. And there are some relationships between them, all right? Or associations link object link which includes three attributes like ID length capacity all right so these are attributes and on the other side there is node node object will include also attributes ID capacity and so on and so on and there is a connection or a relationship okay between them or among them so this is a kind of object-based object because we can have the data represented as objects, distinct objects. It can be a person, it can be a thing, it can be a place, all right? But it's an object. Then we have attributes which will provide some characteristics about this object or represent some or describe this uh, object like for example ID if we say student student entity or student object it includes ID name right major like what we have discussed before so this is a data model and uh, what which type object okay object based why object based because it will represent data as objects then their attributes, and they uh, have some relationships in their associations, all right? So this is object. Uh, let's see the record based. The record based will be like something similar, but we can say it's like, let me just, yeah, this one. Every every uh, part of the data database will be treated as a record. Okay, like what you have, you can see here. Okay, this is uh, something like records, or we can say also this is a type. This is like network, or like a tree. Okay, like a tree, um, linking all the elements 
of the database or all parts of data or piece of data. Like for example, we have company, here we have suppliers, department, project, employee, all are linked together in, um, in a kind of records, record connection, connection. Okay, and this is one type of record based. Uh, there is another type you can see, let me just show you. Uh, here we have, let me share it. For example, like tables, this is a record base. Okay, I will show you now. I will. See, now I'm going to share it. This one, it will be displayed now. Okay. Uh, can you see it can be represented in records, right? Records fields like relations. We say we call it relations, or um, uh, what shall we say? It's like tables, all right? So every table, every relation will have a name. Like for example, here employee, department, and then there comes the fields like employee ID, employee name, address, department ID. And then there is uh, another relation, which is department ID and department name. So this is uh, just uh, an example of relational data model, which is a record based. OK, this is a record based. What I have uh, showed you before, it's like a network. OK, it's uh, still record based, but another type of uh, record based. Okay, so record based. Well, uh, we in, re in the record base we will have the data presented in records. Okay, and uh, so for example, uh, it will be consisting of number of fixed format records, and and it's it comes in different types. So sometimes uh, one record. <clears throat> will include number of fields sorry <coughs> just a minute so for example this one the first record uh, which is employee number 100 uh, 100 is a number right joseph is a name a character right address character or text a department ID will be a number, so it will include different types of data, different types, each record. So this is one record, this is one record, 100, Joseph, Clinton Town, and 10. This is one record. Okay? Yes, exactly, they are linked, they are linked. That's why we, we are uh, requiring having the data model to provide linked data. Okay, it will... Uh, give us better understanding about the database so yeah so as we said it will uh, each record it will define each record will define a fixed number of fields like as I said uh, it's uh, with a fixed length so if your ID your ID uh, will be your ID your student ID will be eight char eight uh, characters or or nine. This is this is the meaning of fixed fixed length. Um, in this example, as you said, as you can see in the screen, one hundred is three characters, right? Only three. The size, the size of this, the length, will be <coughs> three characters. Okay. So yeah. It can have uh, more than one type, more than one uh, one field in each record. So this is about the record based. Or while uh, on the other hand, the object. Let me just display the the slide. Okay. Th 
there are uh, so many types of uh, these categories which means object based data model will include number of examples it's not showing okay now and ob so object based will include number of uh, examples or types okay so this is these are three three categories object based representing data in as objects okay record based representing it as records a set of records and physical which represent the internal schema okay our conceptual schema because it's like um, the lower level of the database all right so object based data model uh, as we said it will represent the, the database as entities attributes and relationships and we have mentioned that entity before previously in the previous chapter we have mentioned what is the meaning of entity right entity means any distinct object it can be a person it can be an event it can be a thing or a place all right represented in the database uh, attribute is a property of an entity it will provide uh, some characteristics about that object or describe some aspect about that object relationship any association between entities okay like we have uh, this example if you remember we can have student for example and courses you remember that this is for example student and courses and there is a relationship between them which is register okay and there is here direction of re the relationship uh, let me write here student and uh, the other one will be courses for example courses and the relationship will be register student register or students for example register okay here is the relationship okay and there are attributes here describing each entity okay for example for the student there is id uh, name and so on and so on this is an uh, entity relationship uh, data model entity relationship data model we call it er okay so this is this is an example of er number one examples or what are the types of uh, the entity relation sorry the object based data models we have entity relationship entity relationship means uh, this one what we have what i have uh, presented here this is the entity relationship because we have each entity and there is a relationship among them so this is number one entity relationship is an object based data model we have another type another common type which is semantic okay we have also functional these are all types okay <coughs> I'm sorry and object oriented object oriented so all these types can represent data as object based okay object based so you can uh, you can still have any of these okay it will be representing the data or describing the data database schema uh, but object oriented it will represent or describe the data the database 
both, both uh, not the state only of the data, state and behavior. So the object oriented will be more um, advanced, okay, which describes not only the state of data, but also its behavior, okay. So these are four main types of data model. We will focus on we will focus on entity relationship. That is, that's what we have. We will uh, discuss in more details in the next few. Um, now I I think the next chapter slide will be entity relationship. So the next chapter will be entity relationship data model. We will focus on how we can draw this entity relationship, how we can um, uh, understand all its, its uh, elements, okay? But these or the, the remaining, I just need to know that uh, it can be used also to represent a database description, okay? Now the record based the record based data model, as we said, it will include number of fixed format records. So fixed format records in different types, as we said, in different types. I show you uh, the table or the re the relation. It includes records like number, name, and so on and so on. So different types of records. Um, so fixed number of fields and fixed length. All all records will be in fixed length. So it depends on the size of each field. Uh, we have three types. We will uh, we will discuss the first one. So we have three types of record base. We have relational. I showed you this one. It's um, it's like uh, providing uh, data as relations or tables, okay? And it will be uh, specifying the, the data as fields and records, okay? And there are different types of fields. So this is the relation, relational data model. Number two is the network. Okay, and like a network and hierarchical, a hierarchical these two, uh, these two will require to have knowledge about the physical database being accessed. So it's like a navigational approach. So these two will provide, or they are a an, an navigational approach. They are following a, a navigational approach like uh, specify how data to be retrieved how not only what data to be retrieved so the user must know or have the knowledge about the physical database okay these two network and hierarchical data model while relational it will be like a declarative approach adapting a, a declarative approach which uh, which uh, <clears throat> Sorry, does not require the user to have a knowledge about the physical uh, level of the database. So it's just uh, just specifying what data to be retrieved. Okay, so that's why we are going to focus on the first one, which is the relational data model. Got the point, guys? Any question? Do you get the point? So. So far, we have now an, uh, some information about data model. Uh, we said it's uh, two, it comes in two categories, two main categories here. Okay, the object based and record based. In the object based, we are going to focus on entity relationship data model, ER data model which pre present data in entities, relationships, and attributes. Number two, the record-based, 
which will present the information or the data of the database as records, fixed records with fixed format and fixed number of fields with fixed length. Okay, it comes in three types. The relational data model will uh, like present the data in relations or tables and uh, it will adopt a declarative approach which means it does not require the user to have knowledge about the physical or internal level design uh, it's only uh, specifying what data to be retrieved okay rather than how it, it is to, uh, to be retrieved while the two other types network and hierarchical data model are adapting a navigational approach which means it requires the user to have knowledge about what data sorry how data to be retrieved okay all right now the record base is used to uh, specify the overall structure of the database in higher level but there is a drawback of this uh, data model there will be not no adequate fitties for for what for specifying the constraints on the data so this is the only drawback of the record base while it as the object base object base uh, because it will provide logical structure specification and it will provide more and specify more constraints on data so this is the only drawback of record base there will be no enough facilities for having or specifying constraints on the data constraint means you know what the meaning of constraints like restrictions right we give examples about constraints like for example i can specify uh, or restrict the number of accepted records for each relation yeah in, in sql how it can be Qasim? can you tell can you explain constraints like yes exactly awesome excellent so primary key is a kind of yes yes correct so it took off something you can use in order to restrict the data or to uh, look some aspect of data all right and that is will ensure data integrity and data consistency all right so that's correct uh, all right, relational data model. Relational data model. We said what? What? Ta what is this relational data model? Is it object based or record based? Yeah. I will. I will test your memory now. Relational data model. Relational minimal SM. You. You can have an focus. Focus, focus, focus. Relational means relations. Imagine that relation is tables. Okay? And tables include number of records. All right? Relational model. So relational means it's not an object based. Object means entity. Yes, exactly, Abdul Manan. It's record base this is a record base yeah so we have yes entity or the the object base will include entities attributes and relationships while relational data model see here it's a type of record base this is a record base the first one which will uh, which we will focus on is relational data model because uh, if you remember, I showed you two tables or two relations, right? This is relational. Why relational? Why we call it relational? Because it includes, it provides data into tables, like tables or relations. So uh, the alternative name of the table is relation, okay? Either you can use relation or table. It's the same. All right, so relational data model. So don't be confused, okay? relational data model so it will be based on mathematical relations as i said or tables 
we can call call it tables here tables okay so mathematical relations or tables let me make it increase the size of this okay uh, so uh, yeah it's it's mentioned already there so it's represented as tables each table has number of what columns and rows right rows are the records so number of columns with a unique name so there must be a name for each table got the point here is a table for example i have this table and in this table there are a number of columns i will draw them on my own any it's okay okay these are columns including a unique name for example this is table table one for example it must be a unique name not table one sorry for example student 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 table okay uh, so student table there will be id there will be here right id there will be name and so on right so this is the relational data model and each relation or table will have its own attributes or its fields number of fields it's like attributes here id name these are fields we call it field okay fields and how about this how about this one two what are these three rows or yes exactly it's rows correct Maryam and Batul but we call it rows or or records right because it's record based yeah so these are records yes Yusuf exactly so it's records so these are records these are records each of these is a record and each of the each of columns each of these columns is a field these are fields okay these are fields so each of these are fields id is a field name is a field so fields basically fields can be represented as columns right while records can be represented as rows as you said that's the point that's the point this is the relational data model we can represent the data in number of relations or number of tables each table has a unique name and it includes number of columns or fields and number of records or rows all right so this is an example you can see that the branch branch relation it has a unique name which is a branch there are uh, like branch number street city and uh, postcode these are what these are fields right or columns these are columns and each of these each of these is record okay so these are relationship between two tables. What is the relationship between two tables? Who can tell? Only give me one. Yella, you focus and you can tell me the, the relationship between these two tables. Yes, 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 exactly. Correct, correct. So there is a relationship between these two tables, which is branch number. Branch number in the first table will be the primary key, as you mentioned. Awesome. The primary key. While the branch number, exactly, the branch number in the second table will be the foreign key. Okay, so this is how we can relate different relations got the point so this is the relational data model it will be easy simple so don't worry uh, and the the data will be no 
straightforward so it's not complicated about these data models so next time inshallah we are going to finish this chapter and we will discuss uh, the network data model okay see it's like the network like records but it will be represented in different ways uh, there will be hierarchical okay then we will discuss the physical data model uh, we will go through the conceptual modeling and last we will discuss the functions of database management system so inshallah and so far this week we are going to finish chapter number two okay all right so any questions guys any questions anything yes i have uh, uh, i have uploaded the the link try it there was a problem actually uh, with the link okay i was trying to upload it but it, it was not working just check and let me know okay uh, i don't know maybe something about uh, having it public or private i was trying to have it uploaded but now it's uploaded just let me know that it's working um integrity constraints error a uh, use of oh my fatah okay let me check let me check all right inshallah it will be fixed as soon as possible uh yusuf integrity constraint error anything uh any problem associated with the with these constraints it will cause an error and there will be loss of integrity of the database we will discuss the constraints more details use inshallah in the next chapter slides there will be no mark on the activity there will be just uh, something you can study from you can refer to for chapter number one so i have uh, i have this activity it's just questions true false uh, multiple choice like questions okay but you will find it uh, like uh, interactive activity okay hopefully by today it will be fixed yes yusuf it's not uh, it's not confirmed yet it's either it's end of this month end of march or maybe um maybe an april or i I'm, i have no idea till now because they discussed it will be in campus inshallah so once it's confirmed i will let you know inshallah okay any other question there will be three chapter slides for the midterm jinan three three one two and three three it will be not three um yeah three chapter slides okay um uh, maybe part of um, chapter four maybe i'm not sure it depends you are welcome any other question any other question okay so far we have uh finished today's part